India, Mind of India. Amidst the ancient city of Ayodhya, where the sacred waters of the river Sarayu whispered tales of mythology, a remarkable link emerges, connecting the heart of India to the distant shores of South Korea. Beyond Ayodhya's renowned status as the birthplace of Lord Rama, a unique narrative unfolds, one that resonates deeply with a group of South Koreans who believe their ancestry is intertwined with this sacred city. The belief is rooted in the captivating story of an Indian princess, Suri Ratna, who embarked on a journey that traversed borders, cultures and time. According to ancient Korean stories, Princess Suriratna, born in Ayodhya to King Padmasen and Indumati, left an indelible mark on history. Legend has it that the King of Ayodhya, inspired by a divine dream, was instructed by the gods to send his 16-year-old daughter to South Korea to marry King Kim Suro. In the year 48 AD, Princess Suriratna and her brother embarked on a voyage to Korea to fulfill the divine decree. She would later be known as Queen Hu Hongwok, the first queen of Gyeongwan Gaya, a realm believed to be situated in modern-day Gimhae city in southern Gyeongsang province. A key reference is found in the South Korean historical text Samgu Kyusa, where Queen Hu Hongwok is mentioned as the princess of the Ayudha kingdom, phonetically similar to Ayodhya. The Queen is credited with founding the Karak dynasty, a legacy that more than 6 million Koreans, especially from Kim Gimhae, Hyo and Lee clans, proudly trace back to as direct descendants of her children with King Suro. Professor Kim Byung Mo, a distinguished archaeologist from Korea, visited Ayodhya, drawn by a perceived genetic connection. His groundbreaking research unveiled intriguing ties connecting the state symbol of Uttar Pradesh, the twin fish, with the Jiomguan Kingdom. In 2001, a delegation from Korea inaugurated the memorial of Hu Huang Wok in Ramkatha Park in the holy city of Ayodhya. Over a hundred historians and government representatives paid homage to this enduring connection. In August 2020, then South Korean ambassador to India, Shin Bong Kil, emphasized the historical significance during an interview with ANI. In present times, the profound legacy lives on with a multitude of individuals in South Korea proudly rediscovering their ancestral heritage rooted in the ancient city of Ayodhya. Each year, a multitude of South Korean tourists, considering Ayodhya as their maternal home, undertake a pilgrimage, fueled by a profound and enduring connection to their esteemed queen, Hu Huang Wok. This enduring journey reflects a powerful cultural bond that transcends time and continues to unite hearts across borders. Mindia. Mind of India